great smile. <laughs> Race, religion, and rock and roll. It's a heady mix, isn't it? But it's the recipe that's made Safraz Manzoor famous. The writer has just published an account of his life growing up as a Muslim in Luton and how he made a success of being British and Pakistani. Well, I was two years old when I first arrived in Luton. It was 1974, May 1974. My dad was working at the Vauxhall car factory, which is sort of over there. He was working on the production line. And between the age of two to the age of 18, I basically spent it in this town. And uh, I went to school here, I went to college here. This is kind of what made me. It's, it's, it's kind of odd to have grown up here in one part of the world, in one part of town, and then, uh, and then to find one's, one's life out here on a bookshelf. My father believed that all physical deficiencies could be cured by drinking a glass of milk a day. The two fixed rituals of my teenage years were reading the Quran and drinking a glass of milk, one for spiritual nourishment, the other for physical well-being. It was a Muslim upbringing in the sense that we were always taught, you know, you can't drink, you've got to make sure that, you know, meat's got to be halal. But I didn't go to a mosque every night or anything, partly because I wasn't anywhere, didn't live anywhere near a mosque. So it was more about a cultural thing and it was more about not letting people down. It was much, you know, the idea of the community was very important. So it wasn't, don't do something, Allah's going to be upset. It was more like, don't do something because Mr. Sh Mr. Shah's going to be upset. Well, this is Greenfields in the Arndale Centre. We used to go here and we would talk about life and we would talk about our troubles and when were we going to get out of Luton and how were we going to make something of our lives and all those discussions, they all took place right here in this very cafe. So Bruce Springsteen, for example, was a massive influence. I got into him when I was 16 and middle-aged, you know, white guy, lives in New Jersey. You would think I would have nothing to do with somebody like me, but he comes from a working class town, you know, Asbury Park, New Jersey, is somewhere where there's a big car factory like Luton. You know, Berry Park, I come from, Asbury Park, he comes from. Uh, and also, more importantly, he was a working class guy who wanted something else for his life. That's what I connected to. Like a vision, she danced. Well, this is Marsh Farm, and it's very, very different from Berry Park. When I was growing up here, we could play cricket, and we could hang out, and we could play. But the other thing is, I was playing with, mostly with white kids. That's one of the big worries right now, I think, is when you do have places which are kind of segregated in the way that the people are being educated, with the schools which are overwhelmingly of one Asian, either all Asian or either all white, that's, I, that's probably going to be a dangerous thing, I think. The thing about extremism often is that if you have a community that basically is speaking to itself all the time, it's a lot easier, I guess, for dangerous ideas to start spreading in a way because you haven't really got anybody to challenge them. In some ways, I don't represent anybody apart from myself. But having said all that, I'm also an example that you can come from a working class, ordinary, bog standard, Pakistani background in Luton and get somewhere. And for me, that's kind of a vote of confidence in Britain. So, Fraz Manzur, what a fascinating he name. Is, isn't he? Mm. Now, in a recent survey of house names, the most popular one was the cottage. <laughs> Followed by Rose Cottage, <laughs> the bungalow, the coach house and the barn. Perhaps much more interesting is a house in Essex called Chelsea. Which would be great for some but not for others. Let's go live to the village of Little Hallingbury and our Essex reporter, Gareth George. Yes, this is a beautiful house, 300 years old, grade two listed, 